hazardous chemicals are being found in fast food. Researchers found small amounts of phthalates in 80% of the items they bought from multiple fast food businesses. Phthalates are used to make plastic soft. They can transfer from plastics used for food handling, like in gloves, but they are also linked to health problems, including fertility issues. None of the restaurant chains in the study have commented. The FDA says it will review that study. Joining us now is George Washington University researcher Loria Edwards, who helped conduct the study. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good, good to have you. you with us. These chemicals are banned in toys. Why are they allowed uh, in, 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 in a source that is connected with food? That is a very important and popular question. And to be honest, the regulations for phthalates don't make sense. They are banned in toys, but they're not regulated in food contact materials or in cosmetics. So from our study, we're seeing that we've found these chemicals in our foods, and that's not, that's a concern. Well, when you hear this, you think, why aren't these restaurants shut down if this is so dangerous? Why doesn't the FDA step in and say, w shut it down, or is there a limit to what's tolerable? The FDA doesn't currently regulate these chemicals in food contact materials, so in, in things that are found close to these food items. So. Well, I certainly don't mean for these results to be alarming. I really hope that they inform, inform consumers and inform policymakers who can advocate for stronger regulations so that these chemicals aren't found in our food. So should people be worried that, I mean, the amount that's in there right now is dangerous to them? So we didn't look directly at whether or not the concentrations in the foods that we study are directly related to health effects. I can say there is a valuable amount of literature out there that links these chemicals to health concerns that are worrisome. So it really is important to measure these chemicals in foods because diet is the important source of exposure for these chemicals. And we really don't know the concentrations of these chemicals in our foods. So concentrations regarding, it's really important that we understand what's actually in these foods. Why wouldn't the FDA be in, involved in limiting this. This can't be a shocking surprise to them. Is it because these fast food companies lobby Congress? You know, I am not a policy expert. Uh, that is a question for someone who really spends their time doing this. My hope is really that my science can help those folks who are doing with, dealing with the policy and, under, and understanding what is best for our regulations to help keep these chemicals out of our food. So the impact may be something like reproduction uh, th things of that nature. And when we say that, does that mean because you're eating it every day for 10 years, or, or is, is the threshold much less than that? That is the concern that we are exposed to these chemicals chronically. So if you're eating these chemicals in your diet, you're getting small concentrations that over time can cause these health effects. We know that phthalates disrupt hormones, and because of that, they're linked to reproduction problems, as you mentioned, also neurodevelopmental problems in children. So mm. it really is important to consider what these chemicals, the concentration of these chemicals in our foods. Did you just happen to study fast food, or is this something we should be worried about in other restaurants? Well, we focus on fast food because there's prior literature that shows that consumption, as, consumption of fast food is linked to these chemicals measured in our bodies. But there was not any data that actually measured these chemicals directly in foods. And so that is what makes our, our study novel and important and really worth thinking about. All right, Lariah, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. You